<laughs> you guys, I literally thought, okay, so we do these claps every time we start the show. And I thought it was just like some bromance, like bros doing their like whole, whole, whole thing. I, I didn't realize that was for the audio people. Yeah, it's for so we can line everything Clap. up. Clap. Cheapers. <clears throat> yeah. That's why in movies they have the little board that yeah. mm. claps down. Cut. Mm. Well, anyways, um, I do want to say right off the bat, everybody, there's some red stuff on my face. It's a little stained. It's squirt. <laughs> we just did a Takis video, and uh, that's why my face might be A red. noodle video. Mm -hmm. It's on my channel. Go watch us. My main, um, my main channel. Welcome to the Dumpster Fire podcast, the D-Fire podcast. <laughs> Episode three. <laughs> we made it to three episodes. It's three. We, we made it to three. <laughs> and we, we we spent Christmas together. Oh my gosh. Yes, we did. Yep. And Texas is very cold. It is. It was it's seven degrees the other night. Way colder. Way colder than I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it was similar to Florida, where it's like, you know, it dips into the no, 40s. No, 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 no. No. There's no bogs. There's no old people. It's a, it's a little respectful. There's no crime, really. Texas is like, oh. is beautiful. You, you think Florida's full of crime? Florida, there was a guy who ate somebody's face in Florida. You fluffy bastard. I can relate. Sometimes when your sugar goes down, I actually, I'm actually very lightheaded already. I, all I had were those noodles and I didn't have that much. They were disgusting, too, by the way. I tried my best. Oomp. So I do have Dr. Pepper, which I will sip on a little bit. Don't judge if I start burping. You love Dr. Pepper. And I'm out of breath, even though I haven't done anything, but <clears throat> that's just welcome to my life, peasants. That's just part of, uh, Life is your career path, right? I like how these producers laugh when I say I'm out of breath. <laughs> today I'm on Nick's side. I'll be on Nick's side today. Well, we're Thank all you. on your side. Pro That's why you're here. Producer number two. Thanks. We're all on your side. We all love you. We all spent Christmas together <sighs> in a powwow. We had a little circular powwow. And he powwow. didn't get me anything. That's Christmas. bullshit. The food doesn't count. I have to be fed regardless. No, I got you. I got you things. What thing? You're just going to sit here and make up a lie. Here, All right, let's see how good oomps. Go ahead. Make up a lie. Go ahead. Tell everyone what you supposedly got me. Go. I got you. You didn't even like them. I got you chocolate-covered pretzels with caramel. I oh. said food doesn't count. But that's like a gift. It's a gift. It's, it's like not. A, that's, a just, that's just that's that's simple life necessities. Food, consumption, calories. Possible. Yeah, true. I got you a hat. I ain't getting him nothing, so whatever. Yeah, he's very... Uh, I shouldn't say that. What are we going to say? That'd be rude if I said that. Say what? Cheap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're very cheap. But you, know you are. I don't make that it's much you're money. Poor. I understand. I it's don't you're poor. actually. Are we going to spend New Year's together? <sighs> Unfortunately, we're trying we gonna, to do this. Are we going to kiss? Stupid, stupid. Po <laughs> 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 Only if it gets us views because I really need money. But um, it, I think that would get a lot of views. Are, are you views. willing to kiss me? I've never kissed a man. I've never kissed a boy. Have I? We've Maybe. tried. Huh? They've tried kissing me a lot. Yeah, we've tried to yeah. kiss you a lot. Yeah, they try to kiss <laughs> me Dude, a lot. Your producers are weirdly close to you. That's weird. We like, are you very hire close. all your fans. It's just weird as fuck. Well, I hire I kiss, my best friends. No, your fans. You hire your fans. They're my... Apparently, that's what Ethan was doing that Trisha had problems with. He just hires all his fans. Well, I mean, you hire people that want to work with you. Yeah, they're obsessed right? with you. They're not obsessed with me. They just said they would kiss you, and they tried. Well, my cousin would kiss me, and he's my fucking cousin. That's... We're in Texas. That's a thing here. I already know. It's more of an Alabama thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 oh. It's literally... <laughs> we, just, we just have strong... I, I developed strong bromances. I love my bros. You guys, pet petition to get Nick a new chair. I love you guys. I love you, I too. Love you. I love you, Nick. I love you, Nick. No, you don't. I do. Homosexual. We're homosexuals, me and you. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Well, <sighs> I'm really hungry, actually. I really. What are you hungry for? You want some taco <laughs> casa after this? Everything. Want to get some casa after this? I do. Shout out. It's to good. I love. It is good. Taco casa. They never. They, well, me and Satchel went. She but we, it's good. They didn't want to come with Wait, me. Oh, he didn't. Go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, my, they did, they went somewhere else. We'll go somewhere else. Lol. They said. If you guys don't know what we're referring to. Uh, taco Casa. In Texas, they have this um, taco and burrito place. I've gone every day for like 10 days, literally. Well, I'll just take all my money, literally. It's so good. And they fill up the tacos way more than Taco Bell. And um, I just like it. It's a little pricey, but it's good. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> so, That's Nick's asshole so, after 10 days of taco. <sighs> Oh, really? No, my digestion is actually good, producer number one. It's, yeah, it's, producer number one, you poop a lot. I, I do. He squirts. I've seen, I've seen, so 
We've had I've had two men, adult men, specifically producer number one and guest number two. Uh, we've had both of them use my toilet and both have left remnants. And I will say the remnants in the toilet left by producer number one is more foul. Mm-hmm. Yes. Than guest number two. Thank you. Thank yes. you. That's what I'm talking and about. And let me explain why people. People always assume I'm, com- I'm constipated because I eat all this junk. Yeah. I'm not. It's actually the opposite. The more volume you eat, the more gets pushed out. That's actually just a basic recommendation by dietitians when people are constipated. They say just eat a eat a large meal. It doesn't even have to be fibrous. Just the just volume. Eat a large meal six times a day, seven days a week. Just the volume of food will keep things moving. So until that, you become a mukbanger. Yeah. I will say yours look like a dead snake or a yep. snake shed its skin in my toilet, and yours yep. look like somebody uh, made like a vegetable medley. Shh. It was like undigested. Oh man! Yeah, it was sickening. It was disgusting. Oh my I God. like my people, snake poops. Okay, I think when people click on the Defire podcast, they actually don't want to hear about Nick's feces. They already they they've heard enough. They just want to hear what's funny, man. I know them good. Uh, at, at this point, it's just the dumper fire. The dumper, the dumpy fire podcast. Cheers. It's the dumpster fire, is what it originally is, and it's still dumpster fire, but it's the Defire because it's like more cool now it is mm-hmm. follow the defire on twitter follow yeah. me on twitter follow nick on twitter i have a new twitter we've been tweeting it's called real that's at the little handle little at symbol real nickocado recently my twitter's been blowing up and why is that oomp i don't know but it, everything does really well yeah why i don't know yeah you do know why i post uh pictures of me with guns they get 25 i, I tweeted but they yesterday. did but they didn't a month they ago did before a month ago two yeah. months ago no yeah they did no they Yes, they did. People, I'm being used like a cow. That's he my posts. most used tweet ever. Exactly. It's me. And then the one of us with the guns. Me. Scroll down. Okay, that's us. <sighs> that was just and recently. He, I did not know he would post. Um, this is me talking about Chili's 4,500 likes. This is literally from like two weeks ago. Also, a picture of me with my Moby got 20,000 likes as well. I need to post the one. I got a... I got a <sighs> I know this is not a competition. I'm very competitive, but okay, fine. Yeah. Take take your glory with your likes. Well, people just, I mean, it's just funny. It's a funny image. People like it, you know? Yeah, and we flung that thing up into the air, as you people saw. Yeah, they saw the video of the trebuchet. We built a trebuchet. You were a great help with that. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't do anything. I didn't do shit. You stood around, and you were a trooper, though, because it was cold, it was and it was windy. It was 40 degrees. You were a trooper. Well, I should say, you were a trooper if you were like an eight-year-old. But you're 30. Excuse me. I actually had so. a I had to hold the camera for one of the cameramen because something wasn't prepared. So they handed me the camera. I had to hold it for like 20 whole minutes. They're heavy. <laughs> That's not true. That's yeah, bullshit. No, uh, it is true. I did 20 hold it. Minutes? It was it was put down and then he picked it up. No, you you Volunteered. gave it to me for like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> fact checkers. No, fact no, checkers. No. Check that fact. This is me fact checking it right now. That and that's happen. bullshit. Yeah. Yep. That's what the bullshit. heck? Why are you all lying? You guys, my Twitter's awesome. Po- now. This is the last podcast. This is the last one. And like, I know everyone thinks it's funny, but like, you're all gonna gang up on me now. Well, do people? I don't think people know a lot of the times whenever I joke. They like a lot of people do, but now since you, we've been actually collabing, your audiences come and they don't really know. They're that offended, I'm like always. I am. Right, peasants. Yeah, they're more offended. Right, peasants. They're all offended with. They me. get more offended easily. Yeah, they don't know that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm here on the joke. I'm in on the joke. I trained you all good for my mukbangs. I've been doing right. mukbangs for six years. I trained you my guys peasants. Are you guys Tra- are sheep. Shh. Why are we talking over each other? Cheapers. I forget what I was saying. All I was saying is that my peasants are obedient and they're always on my side. Right? Thanks. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Now we're on my Twitter, cheapers. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to compare a little bit because you guys have very differing. Like ratios, yeah, just different, slightly different. I barely, ratios. I just created the, the the account three weeks ago, and I I've only mentioned it once, and I also retweeted it though. That's why that has so many likes. It, well, thanks, thank you. Uh, yes, I do appreciate that, and I retweeted yeah. it back. That fo- that again, this is old, but it says rate me one to ten. Be honest. And Where they rate you zero. Um, go back to the other one. It says rate me one to ten. No, not that one. The rate one under it. <laughs> oh, rate me one to ten. Be honest. I, you guys, look at my shoes. Oh! This is the first comment. <laughs> <laughs> Bat phobia. That is awesome. Bat that's phobia. Awesome. Don't. That's really that's, that's b- block and ban them right now. How is that fat phobia? Block their ass because they're trying to say that's what I look like. 
they're way fatter than I am. It's a little more modest than what you look like. I'm actually not that fat for someone that. Well, eats. I'm not saying about your weight. It's just the the. Why would they tweet that? They didn't, they didn't tweet a skinny person. They tweeted well, someone no, from my 600 pound life. It literally looks like you though. You're wearing the same colors and everything. It has nothing to do with the colors. Oomp has it everything does. to do with the fact that they're extra large. Ah. No. It's even framed the same. <laughs> it's like the same. <laughs> it's the same thing. That is funny that you have to admit. Scroll down. Let's see more. Yeah. What's that one? Oh. I would say your heart might not stop from diabetes, but only from the sudden realization from this tweet that all of your followers and subs and everything you have is fake, only to also realize you have nothing, especially What's since that you attack. What's that thing? TTDLR. Really too long to read. They hate. They Move hate you because you attack on. Corey Kenshin. You can't. You can't say nothing about Corey Kenshin. No, I don't. Come you know, you. I don't get these stands. My stands don't do that. At least, you know, my stands have brains. I don't want stands. Just to be clear, you do. You I do have, have them. Stands. I don't want them. I don't want to have don't anyone have any, who's obsessed with me. Well, you know, here the whole. Gosh, it's geez. deeply unsettling. It's just you no. Know, it's unsettling how Corey Kenshin can make a video. Nick Akato, let's talk. And so I respond. Let's oh, just you want to call out Corey Kenshin and H three? Let's just. Who else are we calling out? Wait, let me finish. I love Corey. Shh. Shut your trap. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just saying, how can someone make a video like, hey, let's talk, make a whole video about me, and then I respond, and then all his stands say, stop creating drama. Leave him alone. You need to stay in your lane. Mind your business. What do you mean, mind my business? I freaking was. And then your, your, your freaking God that you're worshiping mentioned me and asked me to talk. That's the, the title. Can you read? Can you open yeah, your eyes? Corey has a very loyal audience. <sighs> Extremely loyal, and with loyal audience comes blindness, a delusion, a lot. I, I, delusional. delusional. Yeah, I agree. People, I agree. Delusional people it happens. I got some delusional followers, and so do you. Yours are worse. You got one right know. here. Yeah, you hired them. You hired 1, them. To, you hired them to ten thousand, baby. You're the best out there. Sit and kiss Look, your she ass. She thinks you're ten thousand out of one. Oh, one thank you, lady. Ten. I do appreciate it. Say her name. <sighs> I can't see it. It's the screen. Faith Marie. I can't. The screen's really far away. Can you not see? I'm not that blind. Oh my gosh, they Faith just Marie. zoomed in real far. I could say see it. Okay, thank you, Faith Marie. Yeah, she rated you a ten thousand out of. I do <sighs> agree though. You do look like a up to no good little boy. You look like a little boy in that. That photo. was really fun to. That was really fun to shoot. It really was. It was a fun day, wasn't it? It was. It was a good day. We had a good time. It was. You know, it. You know, it's my first time. time. First time. First time. And your everyone. I mean, again, this is like a month old, but people are still talking about it. They're like, mm. he shot the guns. Mm. He was a cowboy. I straddled you. You straddled me. What? We did. We remember when we shot the big gun? Oh, yeah. that. I thought you were talking about something what? else. What? <laughs> what? I don't fucking know. I go back enough Twitter. My butt. I just wanted to bring it up. My butt. We uh, Gosh. are you fart? No, no. Okay. We um, ah. we straddle the line. I straddle the line on Twitter. You you tweet ask for ratings. You're like a middle schooler on Facebook. <laughs> I'm a, I'm. A... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll give Have you, you a TBH and rate. Yeah. Um, Reply now. Uh, I'll rate you one through ten. I don't follow middle schoolers. I want to know. I mean, so I'm apparently <laughs> I have the 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 uh, brains of a middle. You were. No, no, you were a middle schooler at one point. Do you remember what happened on like MySpace and Facebook and stuff when you were a middle schooler? Yeah, I cried a lot because people would stop putting me in their top friends. That sucks. Yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was the worst feeling ever, actually, especially when you thought <laughs> you thought that you were friends. I felt your cough from here. Really? I got like a burst of wind. It, I did it that way. I don't it, it circled back. Oh, okay, it's a ba uh, boomerang cough. Oh, God. I got the coof. <sighs> got the coof. I want to go home. Get go me home. out of here. <laughs> Get me out snakey. of here. Go uh. home, Snakey. Go home. Did you hear about Elon? He's stepping down from Twitter. Well, th some of this trendy stuff is going to be hard to talk about because it's after it's, Christmas. It's, it's oh, going to yeah. be so like, ugh. <laughs> what if we just crack it to him and break and lie to them and say that it's, we were just kidding about it being Christmas? It's not Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> we were lying because we just wanted to record more than one video. Oh my god, we're taking a break for Christmas. Oh my god, guys, this was recorded should, in August. They should understand. I think they would definitely understand, my balls especially if we itch. told them. Don't look. Don't edit this out, people. Sorry. Just yeah. God. Editor, zoom in. <laughs> no, zoom in. <laughs> zoom, in. <laughs> zoom in on you scratching your balls. But yeah, uh, Elon Musk stepped down from Twitter. We'll see how. This Are you ages. keeping all this? And that's so funny. Yeah, uh, we'll see how this ages. Because Psych. It's, it's not, not actually after Christmas. It's like I'm going the 20th. home, bitches. It's the 20th I'm going home. <laughs> of December. We recorded an extra one. Uh, he ran a poll, though, 
and it's 17 and a half million view votes. And it's 57 and a half percent yes that he's going to step down. And he said, I will abide by the results of this poll. So by the time this goes up, he might be no longer the <laughs> we'll find out. The king of Twitter. Why? Well, um, here's the thing. I'm 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 kind of on the fence with this because like on one hand I like some things, on the other I don't. I almost Same. feel like it's it's too much of a baloney at this point. Like baloney? Uh, but like, are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what get me out of here i don't know bologna sandwich something uh firehouse subs it's too much of a bologna <sighs> you enjoy some of the stuff that elon's done you have nuanced <laughs> worldviews. you're a smart guy what were you saying about elon i don't know before you talked about fucking bologna i don't I fuck I, <laughs> i'd fuck him shit you, you like elon i kind of do tweet at him right now oh my gosh let's tweet at him yeah what would you rate so elon? Old, huh what would you rate elon one to ten uh a nine a really? nine point five, because he's rich. Did you see Kanye said he was a young Chinese boy? Who cares what Kanye says? True. Ka 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 <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Who, who, you think he's actually going to step down though? I feel like he probably will. He seems to be a bit of a man of his word. He I might. He I also don't understand why people hate him so much. I feel like he does a lot of stuff good and a lot of stuff wrong, and it's like perfectly reasonable to to do stuff wrong. I mean, I understand why people hate him. Though. Well, it's very political. Yeah, that's exactly. Why. It's too political. I look at things apolitically. Me too. I can't and stand I, politics. Yeah, people I feel ask like me all the time, "What's your political beliefs?" I'm like, I really don't know. I don't really I don't know. care. I don't know. I don't fucking care. As long as I'm allowed to eat what I want, I don't give a shit. As long as I'm allowed to hang out with my friends, <sighs> kiss my cousin, and do a podcast with Nicholas. Shh! Don't say my real name in that. They fucking know your it name is matter. Nicholas. All right, Saint Nick. Okay, Caleb. Be <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> my mom. Oh my god. Uh, Be my, my mom my, or my, something. My, it's slippy. Look, <gasps> look. It's literally coming out. Your asses. Your your uh, <sighs> pancake. I don't. I I was actually just saying that in our collab. I really, really want a butt. I'll get you a big fat dump <laughs> if you want. Give me a big old donkey. <laughs> donkey. Give me a big, big old, old donkey. donkey. You know. Give me a big old donkey. Shut I meant to say donkey. <laughs> but it's true. That's the worst part about my weight gain. I gain it in my poop. I gain it in my chest. I gain it on my fingers. My chin, especially everywhere, but the butt. You know where I gain weight? <laughs> Nowhere. Cock. Yeah. Right in my cock. Right in the tip. Shoe, bud. That's. It literally looks like. <laughs> a... <It> looks like... <laughs> I'm like, it, why you put that image in my head? We're on camera. It looks like a tube sock with a cavity. I don't at the care base. what it looks like. You know, I'm of a certain orientation. Don't it looks like a tube sock with a cabbage in it. Imagine that clearly in your head. I'm trying. Wait, look. a tube sock uh -huh. with a beef, a beef steak tomato. <laughs> you know, it, I'm getting like an image of when, like, you know, uh, you know those cartoons when they get like bonked on the nose. You yes, get, that's what it is. Bright red. That's what it looks like. Bright red. Straight up bright red, like neon. Is it really red? Like it makes the room glow. Yeah. Is it really red? Like actually? Uh, yeah. No, not really. No. Mine's not really. It's like skin colored. It's like a thermometer. It's got like one big head on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your fans would know. Your, fan, but, yeah. your fans you that you hire. You guys have never seen my cock. That surprises me. Why? Because you guys are so like, I don't we know. Come on, we kiss each other. We, we don't yeah, we do don't that. Fuck. You, don't have to, you don't have to do the dirty. I'm just we'll saying. We'll show like, our wieners to each other. You know, stepping out. of. I've never seen any of y'all's wieners. I've seen his root. Yeah. You've seen the, yeah, the base of the yeah, tree. We've yeah. seen uh, we some, some images circulate. Root. I've seen your dick. Let's move on. By paying lots of money. Yeah, by paying. <laughs> Premium content. <laughs> God. You guys want to talk about body integrity identity disorder? Uh, Are you saying that because I'm... It's no. a little bit... It makes a little bit of sense because you always say you're disabled. And these are people who also think they're disabled uh -huh. or would like to be. Uh -huh. There's some are, common traits. Yeah, there's common traits. You guys are a little bit mutual here. Oh well, that's that explains everything. Not, Not me. You're looking at me when you when you say when he says this. Not me. I don't believe that. You don't believe that people have. No, no. That I, I don't believe that I am disabled. I am. You are. I can't do a lot of things anymore. I can't even stand going to the airport. I need to be schlepped around on one of those carts. Literally, the last time I flew before coming here. I had some lady push me. Yes. Like an old woman? No, she was like Latina, like 29, maybe 30. 
Huh. And she was like, <laughs> I'm like, stop. It's <laughs> <laughs> <was> really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> she's blowing her back out. I, know. Push, I just push me, and I didn't want to say just because it's. I mean, you can take one look at me, okay? I'm like nearing 400 pounds, but I just said that you know my ankles hurt. <laughs> oh my god! You and they do, her. they do. It's hard to walk, and my thighs rub. Everything's so. Ugh. That's why I do ask for first. Do you class. chafe? Um, no, because I get underwear, and I make sure that um, the underwear is like uh, covering where they rub, so it's like an extra layer of protection. You lose like lard. Like you rub yourself down with like lard. Um, what? Yeah, like like a lubricant, lard. Oh, one time you I like did lard. put olive oil in there. Interesting. Interesting. Olive oil. Yes. Why not lard? Because I don't own lard. Why not? Mm. Do you wear long johns? No. I sleep naked. I always have. I well, not always, but I'd say the past. <sighs> Eight years, I've always slept purely naked. Ex except when I was on your floor. I couldn't. True. Couldn't. Yeah. True. I used to, I, I go between phases where I sleep naked and sometimes I don't. I don't like waking up and like if something's wrong, what am I supposed to put mm. clothes on and then go? Mm. Oh, I know what you mean. You know, because if like something happens, I'm, go I'm going. You're running. And if... Mm. If I'm naked, things are swinging. It's gonna be like Tarzan. <laughs> it's gonna be like Tarzan running through the house, fucking with an AR and full kit. All right, we're watching the BIDD, BID thing. This is about you. Oh, yeah. is it? Ooh. Yeah, I, this, I like your, things about me. We know. This is your your kin right here. Your kin, your kin folk. Also, we can hear ourselves now, Nick. So it's it's helpful. Hello, More helpful. hello. I can't hear me. It should be like a little bit quiet. I hear you. I don't hear me though. That's you don't okay. Hear you? It's fine. Oh well. <laughs> can you hear can you hear this? Yes. I went blind on purpose, but I don't feel it was a choice. Pause. So wait a second. She's not actually blind. Well, she, she wasn't blind. She wasn't blind. She but made she herself always wanted to be. She identified as blind and then So she's not actually blind. Well, she is. Can she see? Now she cannot. She cannot now. Because she Let's just let's play. I'm just the dual the, the the connection. She identified as blind, and Nick identifies as skinny, or disabled rather. So she's not blind. She's blind. Play the video. I need a taco. For most people, going blind would be a nightmare, but for Jewel Chooping, it was the fulfillment of a lifelong for most dream. People. She suffers from a rare condition what? called Body Integrity Identity Disorder, which led her to deliberately take her own sight. When there's nobody around you. Okay, stop. <gasps> uh! That's crazy. <laughs> well, I didn't deliberately like take my own knees out. <laughs> I mean, I can Seems still, like I can still waddle. Cheapers. <laughs> she, she. Waddle, waddle. Look at her eyes; they're pasted this shut. I don't want to see this. This is scary. She literally took out her eyeballs. So yeah. she made herself blind. See, I didn't make yes. myself fat. <clears throat> you did. You literally did. Ooh. You did, Nick. Oh my god. You just the caught duality. yourself. You just caught yourself in a damn trap. First. A snare. <laughs> you just snared yourself. You're a delicious rabbit in the highlands. <laughs> All right, and you just snared no, yourself. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Did. I did it. <laughs> that's serious though. I can't that believe seems serious. I just walked myself into this. Wait a minute. So she Dude, took she out her eyeballs. Something. And now she's claiming that she's blind. Well, she I blind. gained a little weight and I'm complaining I'm claiming that I'm no longer um fat. I'm skinny. I don't know what it is. I'm confused. I just say that I identify as skinny. This is like algebra. Because it makes me feel better about myself. And if, if it offends people, it shouldn't. It, it, it shows that people are just so like it's just not stable and balanced as human beings. Let someone identify if, if they want. I can be smart. I can be, I can identify as, I don't know, Canadian if I want. I can identify as skinny. It makes me feel good about myself. Just get over it. And if you don't, that's violence. Sure. Well, the violence part definitely is not true, but, but the, I guess if you want to, if it makes you happy, I mean, you can do whatever you want if it makes and you happy. And yes, I did eat myself to this size, but in my defense, 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> there is no defense. The gopher no came defense. out of its hole. There and is saw defense. There is defense. I was making five dollars a day. I was living oh, on my. a floor. In my defense, I was poor. I, I was <laughs> living on the floor in Colombia. Well, actually, I even I actually didn't even do this for money. I didn't even make that much at first. I only did this because I was sick of being vegan, and I just gave everyone the middle finger. It just happened by accident that I became popular from doing. Have you ever it. had a job? Yeah, many. Really? Yeah. I was an ice skating rink coach. I worked at a restaurant. I was a server. I Home Depot? Home Depot. Yeah, that's one of many. Violin lessons. Um, lots of different things. Okay. I used to play at weddings. And then you just gave up work. Started eating. It didn't quite go like that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't quite go like... You're, you're blurring everything. It, I was madly in love with Orlin. Okay. A long time ago. Okay. And um, we were both eating a diet where it was only of raw fruit. Fruitarian. Just fruitarian. And we enjoyed it actually at the time, very much so. But it makes you not really want to work. You don't have a lot of energy. You just kind of like float around with the universe. And um, there's not a lot of fruit in America, but he's from Colombia where there is. So right. we moved to Colombia okay. to live off our fruits. You know, you could survive on a hundred bucks a month, which we literally did. Right. And that's what we were doing. So I didn't really have a job because I didn't need a job because I wasn't needing to pay rent and car insurance and, and phone bills and all that stuff because I wasn't in America. I was in Colombia. So yes, I had all these jobs, but I stopped them to do this little lovey-dovey fantasy with Orland in Colombia. And now you're And here. while I was there, we were trying to make vlogs as vegans and stuff, and I just so happened to come across the mukbang genre. So imagine that Venn diagram. Normal working person, vegan, fruitarian, fly flying around, fluttering around guy, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. this now. Nick Akata. This, this is six years, people. Set, actually well, I can seven. change. My chin got smaller over the last six years. Really? Yeah. So it was huge. So does my dick. I, th <laughs> I feel um, like you've gotten bigger. Your dick stayed the same. Oh. Well, visually, it's it's shrunk. Right. I shrunk it, but it is what it is. Did you mean to shrink it? No, I, I actually... It was like a honey, I shrunk the kids' mother. <laughs> <laughs> he just glares at... Literally, they're blocked out, so he can't see them, but he still gives them a stare. They're too much. You're just staring at the back of the monitor. <laughs> I did. I shrunk my dick. We already talked about this on episode one. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's still funny. I, I have to live with it. I can't even see it, number one. I get you, yeah. I get you. Is that one of the things? So, what what are your goals? Do you have goals? Do you wanna Do you wanna be able to see your pecker? And you want a big? I know you want a big dumpy. You you've expressed that. I've been writing little. No, I've been taking notes on what things that I think you genuinely want. I, I want to make a, you a bigger happy. dumpy. It's really flat. It bigger dumpy. Like, yeah, like we said, a pancake. Yeah, it's a pancake. Breakfast I would food. like be able to see the full length again, but it's not the end of the world because I'm by myself and whatever. It's not like it's right. being shared. Right. Um. What else do I really want in life? Honestly. Food. Food. Literally. That's my that's honestly my main happiness. Okay. Yeah. I've gone through a lot of depressive things and I've I've um the whole thing with Orleans just ho very upsetting and I don't want to cry, but a lot of trauma. It's a lot of a lot of trauma and food has been my thing. And people say, Oh, he's just like this this uh person, blah blah blah, businessman, capitalizing, you know, st a stable genius that's secretly a genius. No, I actually I'm a little addicted to the food too. Like I'm not gonna lie. Also a mess, just in total, total mess. Stable genius. People think you're a stable genius playing 4D chess. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. Let's not go into these conspiracies. They're they're people. Are they're getting, not true. They're giving me more credit. I mean, I love it. Yes, I love I, th it. I thought you were when you did that. I am two steps ahead. Two. <laughs> yes. steps I didn't even write that. I just Google. You can ahead. find that on Google. I just Googled like Batman speech and something on Reddit came up. I <laughs> no just, way. I just Hold read on. it. Hold on. I'm surprised no one found it actually. <laughs> I just read it. I believe that you were literally two steps ahead. You didn't. I mean, not really, kind of, kind of a little bit. I thought you were a lot more of a genius than when I actually met you. God, I can't take any steps. My, my cracks full of crust. How much would it cost to make you grow a mustache? I actually want to get a baby wipe and wipe my crack right now. Really? Yes, I need to see what's in there. I think it's hairs getting tangled up. With donkey. Do do I know. Uh, no, it can't be donkey. I think it's just they're chafing at the moment. They're, donkey. they're rubbing. Say donkey again. Say it. Why? Because it's funny. Why? It just sounds funny when you say it. Okay, everyone be quiet. Doinky. I like it. I like that. I like Doinky. that. 
Doinky. Like you're trying to say donkey. Doinky. Doinky. All right, we don't have to look at the Batman <laughs> yeah, speeches. Just, They're not going to find us. It. it took me a while to find it. I'm like, this is iconic. This is iconic. You and I just, I just read it. You're a big troll. <laughs> so you're, and you're a fluffy like, troll. He's so smart. I'm like, yes. Oh, big and heavy. How about the haunted house? <laughs> and your dark passenger you brought back oh with you. Oh my gosh. That's you have demons words. in you. Did you know that? They're just hungry and starving. Listen, people. That haunted house was not a lot of fun. And if the, if it weren't so many people there either, if I was by myself, I would actually have been really, really You would have scared. died, for one. Really scared. I'm going numb. Are you going numb or are you stinging? No, both. And my feet hurt. You guys, I can smell you. I'm from wearing here. the same shits. <laughs> you, I still haven't fixed them yet. Look at my shoes. Who hey, 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 you? God, you're, those are horrible. You're cracks. Thank. Anyways, back to DIID or BIID. You want to talk about that again? Uh, a little bit. I feel like it's a little dark. Okay, there's there's one where it's like uh, the the previous one was somebody who wanted to be blind. This is one who wants to be paralyzed. So I wonder. I'm not a I'm not a psychologist or anyone who has any sort of uh, credentials to talk about anything, any sort of dis disorders, identity disorders, whatever it might be. But this is this is wild. This is genuinely wild. This guy identifies or wants to be permanently paralyzed. That's what he longs for. Like I long for the love of my parents and to be accepted by my peers. He identifies to or longs for the, not wanting to move anymore. Honestly, it's a nice life. You just sit there and eat. I mean, that sounds terrible. Really? If you have someone there to change your clothes. <laughs> what about the person who has to do who has to take care of you though? They, it's so selfish. Selfish. Well, they selfish. Ha they have to be madly obsessed with you. And a lot of these people that become this way, bed bound. Stockholm syndrome. Let me speak. These people become bed bound, and they find people that are obsessed with keeping them bed bound. They're obsessed with them. They're infatuated with them, and so they get joy out of them reaching their dreams, which is to be immobile. That sounds horrible. Like like feeders almost. Feeders. feeders yeah. Is that what you're talking mm -hmm. about? Nick? Like you and Orlin. Yeah. That's unfortunate that we were not getting along because it was really nice. He did everything for me. Mm. Well, most things. He yanked you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And do you have a problem? Yes. We were married. What do you mean? No, of course. I'm just saying. <sighs> I'm condoning he have fully. He would have yanked me even if I wasn't fat. Oop. That's what I husbands said. do. They yank. I thought y'all were divorced. I said was. Yes, we were. Married. Did he get half of everything? Unfortunately. Why do you think I'm here? I'm trying to make up for the other half I lost. True. Um, <sighs> yeah, so this guy wants to be paralyzed. Cool, here we go. Let's, Let's play. watch like 10 seconds Let's of this. Play. Chloe Jennings White spends her days confined to a wheelchair. Thing. It's tough to get around, and she struggles with living in a world that isn't built for the disabled. However, Chloe is actually able to walk perfectly and chooses to live her life like a paraplegic. Okay. Well, let's pause that. <laughs> However, Chloe's actually a fucking lunatic. <laughs> However, I don't care. This one's easy to make fun of because that's just insane. That's just stupid. And it's demeaning to people who are actually disabled and can't choose to just sit in a wheelchair all the time. I think people need Nick. to stop taking offense to everything. From some of the research that I was doing into this, it seems like uh, people are born and they see that part of their body is foreign. And so they try to actively like make it not a part of their body. Like it's a cyst almost. Yeah. Maybe she's mentally ill. So what? Why can't mentally ill be mentally ill by themselves? It's not like she's going up to people, bothering them in their homes and saying, no, 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 no. No, she's just doing her thing. If she wants to be schlepped around in a chair, so be it. It's America. I don't understand this whole just eternal victim society. If I want to ride around on a scooter because I'm 400 pounds, it shouldn't shock you. Imagine what's going on my knees. Yeah. Yeah, I'm allowed to. My feet hurt. Why do you take offense to everything? Get a life. It's also still insane, though. Okay, but why don't people have the right to be insane in this country? They do. Okay, so... I also have the right to say that it's insane. Okay, fine. And stupid. And I... God, I really need to wipe myself. <sighs> it's really stinking. <laughs> I don't know what I did. It's not like... I better not have, like, shat myself. I think you squirted it. I don't know. I, we just did a mukbang before this, too. I don't know. I think you may it's have a little hurting. squirt in I there. really need to take a peek. A, a stray noodle. Squirt. A stray noodle might be leaking out of the crack. It's my, it's my crack hairs rubbing. That's just what's going on. You get a stray noodle in there. 
Anyways, I'm not offended by her. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and assume. choose to That'd be offended. That'd be hypocritical if you were. I'm not going to sit here and choose to be offended by someone. I mean, that I'm not. Are you guys offended by her? No. no. I'm not and offended at I all. I think it's odd. I know we're not going to watch the Read whole thing. Read some of the top comments. You're going to see lots of snowflakes in there. It should be it should be noted that she, it's very contradictory. She loves to ski. Like she, yeah. she she has a passion for skiing, right. yet she's going to do this to herself. But also wants to remove her legs and be paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Yes. She's uh, reached out to surgeons to see if they could surgically uh, make her paralyzed. Okay, so yeah. Mm. So that's just like some that's just something I'll mm. never understand then. Right there. That's mm. pretty simple. I'll just never understand that. Mm. I don't understand. What are the comments? Zoom in. Uh, not to be a jerk, but how does she have a driver license when she suffers from such disorder? Mm. She could be a danger for everyone in traffic. Oh, she, she does mention in this that she has fantasized about getting in a car crash. Oh, you know, you know okay, paralyzed. that's kind of pressing in things. That's, yeah. That's, I, that's going a little far. It kind of makes sense, though. Overall, taking into consideration everything else we know, just from the first look, makes sense. She looks like the type that would want to crash herself. The first thing I saw was her in a wheelchair, and then the second thing I saw was her just fucking walking around, mm -hmm. and she just likes to role play as a paraplegic person. I'm not. That's crazy. Well, I feel like a car crash is not that insane. Wanting to hurt yourself is pretty on the nose when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't want to hurt myself, so I don't want to be compared. <sighs> you just like it. Well, you are hurting yourself, though. How? By eating. A lot. By clogging your arteries and stuff. <laughs> Fuck you, snowflake. It's a, it's, a, it's a free country. I don't know what to say. It's true. And, You're and, right. And my arteries might actually be fine. You don't know. There's a low chance, but yeah, you're correct. <laughs> statistically speaking, statistically speaking, it's low, but I could ha I could die right now from bad arteries genetically. But if we're talking about statistics, statistics and just overall generals and averages, you know, which obviously you don't like it when we talk about that. I know it makes me queasy. I don't. I can't even if you I don't if, like the if numbers. I, if I got a paper, the numbers, Mason. What do they mean? I want to go home. I don't like this podcast every every day. <sighs> day the first one we had, I was very uncomfortable. Everyone laughing at me. The second one we had, you pinned me against Ethan. You brought it up. You didn't even tell me that that, that would go down. And then I it's just all my fault. I just got run off the rails apparently. And now they're making more videos. And now today you're showing me people who are deliberately chopping off their legs, trying to see if I'm going to sit here and feel sorry or like identify as someone that would deliberately harm myself. No, no. What we are you just, doing to me? We literally just wanted to see your opinion. This on is that. all psycho master, master of psych. This is like master. Yeah, no. I, I did bring up the whole H three thing, and then I stuck my hand in your ass, and then just made you bitch and moan for an hour in the last episode. <laughs> I had brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Two can play at this game. I had reasons to be upset. I know. I, I understand. Still, I'm just responding I, to what you just said. I totally. You're. It's, it's totally. But you're blaming stuff on me. I, I'm not saying what you said wasn't justifiable. I'm just defending Are y'all witnessing this? I hope, I'm hope. i glad there's an audience, actually. Yeah. I'm glad because I... Just... <sighs> Take a sip of water. You'll be all right. Get some Dr. Peppy. You want some Dr. Peppy? <laughs> some Dr. Peepy. <sighs> Anyways. 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 What's our next topic? We had some uh, questions from, from the Twitter. From uh, the audience. Before we go into that, I want to bring up something. I saw recently, Nick, I saw a dog with Cushing's disease. What's Cushing's disease? Cushing's disease. I think it's a thyroid disorder, I think. And the dog looked so funny. It was like this heartwarming story. I saw the dog and started blowing my, my ass out laughing. Check this thing out. Uh, a dog with Cushing's disease gets sound, adopted. Gets adopted. Yeah. Sound very nice. Where is that? Well, it was, it's just a funny image. The dog, it's the dog's doing fine, so it's fine to laugh. Um, Let's uh, see, people. Let's see. Let's see. Cushions. Go to news. Look at it. <laughs> that's a really big belly, but that's a nice belly. That's big. It's cute. And for you thought a dog that was really funny. Well, I just saw it and I was like, oh, it's so cute. And I wanted to rub its belly. Mm. No. Did you know time is an illusion? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been here for five years. My ass is going numb. Did you know? Did you seriously know that time is an illusion? An illusion, and, and uh, scientists still don't don't understand. Yeah. Did you know that, Nick? Mm -hmm. Like the, do you know the atomic clock? The guardians of the atomic clock even admit that time is, as we understand it, is not actually. It's all very crazy if you think about it. Yeah. It's a, it's illusory. Time it's, is. It's very crazy, and that's yeah. why they're trying to crack the code to get us through a black hole. 
what are you talking about? Yeah. They're, they're trying to figure out the whole black hole situation. People, they're, I know the scientists. You know them? Personally. Yes. What else did Orlin major in? Time? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he did major in the animals thing, the, the little vet technician. His thing was exotic species, though. Not so much. I mean, he does know about cats and stuff, and he used to cremate them and all, you know, all the stuff they do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the time thing, though, that's crazy, isn't it? It is. It was supposed to be funny. It was supposed to be a joke, but I just, I don't, I'm not that good at jokes. And you're, yet. you're, you're not. Um, did you know Steve Jobs Birkenstocks recently sold at an They're auction? They're not going to, uh, look, he's Googling it. They're not going to admit it. For $218,000. Who? Steve Jobs Birkenstocks recently sold at an auction for two hundred eighteen grand. Would you ever wow. buy someone's Birkenstocks? Wow. No, I would not. How much do you think? Show that, show that shoe. How much would that sell for? Any bidders? Any bidders? Hey, bit of honey now. Da, 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 25. Oh, Birkenstocks. I thought you were talking about stocks. No, Birkenstocks. Okay. I said Birkenstocks. <laughs> I didn't know what his Birkenstock was. Is that the name of the shoe? Yeah. There's a Birkenstock right here. Excuse me. This is Steve Jobs Birkenstock. How did I not? Is this embarrassing? Should I know? No, no. This is weird as hell. That no, I didn't know what a Birkenstock was. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. That's normal. I, I didn't know if it was like, yeah. really. It's the same shoes that Jesus wore. <sighs> Looks like it. So they sold for two. Yeah, I should sell my red shirts, especially the ones where I get pied in the face and it has a grease stain on it. How much would you guys pay for it? We should do it. We should do five bucks. No, five bucks. people would pay more for that. 50 bucks. People would pay more for that. If it was for charity, they would. Maybe. Would you do it for charity? I'd do it for charity. <laughs> we'll move on. The little smirk. Um, do you guys want to see what's on Twitter? The yeah, yeah. I let's go home. Let's check out our Twitter. Let's check <laughs> out our Twitter. Nick, you're trying to make me look like a bad person. I'm not trying yes, that hard. Yes, you are. It's both of us greeting outside of Chili's, Nick. That's how we get free chilies. We haven't got free chilies yet. You really should at this point. I, yeah, I, for real. I've gotten thirty thousand likes on Twitter of just promoting chilies Cheapers. about being horny and stuff. Cheapers. And I've made so I many videos eating there, getting three hundred thousand views, talking about how I, good it tastes. I should I be sponsored chili. by every restaurant. I love chili. You're the new welcome to chilies guy. Hi, hey, welcome to chili. Didn't he pass? I think so. Yeah, yes, I does. think you told me he died. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, here's a good one. In one word, how would you guys describe your friendship? Turbulent. Roller coaster. Okay. Next. Roller coaster. Okay. Um, oh, these are questions yeah, what, for us. Okay, here we go. These are these are questions that we we asked uh, if they had any questions for you. Uh -huh. uh, what does Nick's schedule look like? Man always seems busy. I gotta know what he does in a day. How about instead of a answering that because that's such a normal question? How about you say my schedule and I'll say your schedule. Okay. What do you think I do in a day? What I think you do in a day. Yeah. That'll make it a little more interesting. You wake up from not sleeping very long. True. Because you don't eat enough, so you don't get your deep REM sleep. True. You don't eat enough carbs. Carbs make you sleep longer. True. So you're carb phobic, so you wake up, you know, very un un unwell rested. I'm unwell. You immediately start going on your phone. Uh, for, I brush my teeth first. Really? Mm-hmm. Before you eat? Oh, that's right. You don't eat breakfast. Yeah, I don't eat. I, 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 I will. I'll be honest. I eat a handful of pumpkin seeds and two Brazil nuts. First thing in the morning. Anti-nutrients. Starting your day with anti-nutrients. <laughs> and, 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 great. <clears throat> you know, you're not supposed to eat nuts. I learned that. Um, okay, so that's what he does. He starts his day toxicity. And then once he's full of his toxicity, he starts trying to think of what to do for the day. But he'll wait la last minute to, do, to like actually solidify plans and times. And then um, what else do you probably do in your day? You talk to all the people that work for you. Yes. Hello, are you coming over? Are you going to help me? And um, you're still not eating proper food. True. I drink coffee. Also toxins, neurotoxins are in coffee. Yeah. Those are toxic. The, the, the coffee that I drink is not good. So you start your day with toxics plus toxics. That's why I'm so shredded. That's. And healthy and virile. No. And can outrun you. No. I could. <sighs> you are shredded. Yeah, I am. And then you make a YouTube video, probably about me, just sitting there reacting to my stuff. <laughs> yeah, for a while, yeah. You know what's funny, though? What's actually funny is that, like, it's so self-aware and so ironic. And, like, the fact that you acknowledge the existence of those things, and now that you're here, the whole thing is so comedic to me. Because so many people have make videos about you, right? 
a ton of they people have. make videos about about you. They have. Yes. And you want to know, know why I'm here, basically. Why? Yeah. You want to know the answer, people? Let me think of something good to say. Be honest. Muddy. <laughs> We're not even going to sit here and hide it, people. We're not. We're not going to sit here and hide it. <laughs> I am very struggling at the moment. And he knows. And, you know, and, you know, I thought it'd be something different. And here's the thing. I will say, out of all the people that make videos about me that are unresearched, not even funny, not even good edits, just rant, 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 you know, there's so many. I will say that yours were a little funnier than others. A little. Ooh. Just a little. Yo. And that's not a reflection of you. That's your editor. So good job, Tara. It's all Tara. Good yeah. job, Tara. You're the reason I'm here. It's all Tara. You better give her uh, a big everything. It's, it's, it's her. Me, Tara. I did some research for this. <sighs> it's all Tara, literally. And but what I don't like is that I'm as I've been here, I've been finding out that you've made more videos about me that I haven't even seen yet. Which ones? Just the well, I don't want to say it on camera, but one of them that we were kind of going off about Ethan doing. You're like, why well, did something similar? I'm like, what? I didn't. Even, I haven't seen that. Wasn't that was in a video you already saw? That was a segment of one minute segment in a video. Well, that's see, that's nice. He doesn't dwell on shit. Yeah, he didn't he, dwell on shit with me. He just moves on and whatever plays his funny music. So. Like the, uh, do you remember the video where I made? Uh, it might not even have been in an, in a video about you where I drew the and stuff, and I drew your. Butt. Remember that? I think it was in a video. It was in a video about him. These are not about <laughs> him. It was just an <laughs> audience video. It's probably taken down now. I probably got fucking age restricted. These are being bleeped, right, Tara? Be yes. Bleep, 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 of bleep, course. Bleep, bleep. Of course. Well, um, whatever. You know. So I'm here, and um. Well, you know. Now I think your schedule. Every day. Why you know do you I think, think you do? I'm here? Um, I think you're here one for potential success, so money, basically. Some money. Yeah. And I think you're just maybe not necessarily bored. But you're interested in seeing what we can do together because people have such a positive reaction to it. Well, I think true. you were very surprised by the reaction to the video that I made of you in the very beginning. I knew I, I knew it would surprised. do well. I just knew it would be that big. Yeah, I knew we'd get a million or two. Just like yeah, you knew mine. it would do well. Um, yeah, people say we vibe and stuff. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I still need to tell what you know what your daily schedule is. What I think your daily schedule is. Okay, tell me. Okay, for when you're hotel hopping, wake up, jacket. Yes. Water. You love water. Yes, that's so true. Jacket, water more. Water burger? No, not water burger. Only for the only for the water because it's free. Tap water. Okay, water burger for more tap water. Yes. And then <laughs> you eat grapes because you feel like you're gonna die, and for some reason you think grapes will heal you. They do. You from Look it up. Look it up. There's something in lip, 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 genesis or something in the grapes that helps prevent blood clots. It's been uh. proven or suggested through studies. Especially black grapes. Start, it's whatever's in wine. It's not the antioxidant thing. It's something resveratrol. Something different. Right. I don't know. Actually, resveratrol. It's in wine and black grapes. It's a pigment. Okay, fine. Well, I yeah. don't know exactly, but I do, and it has fiber. Mm -hmm. People, people write off fruit as. Look at me defending fruitarianism. People just write it off as just well, sugar. It's not. As uh, anyways, to, to uh, you do hi eat fruitarians. Grapes. I know you, you still watch me. They're you a, you eat fruit as a defense mechanism, some kind of weird insecurity defense mechanism. Well, how do you think I'm still here, bitch? It's clearly working. Pure, unadulterated luck. That's it. Nope. That's the only Nope. Way. It's because I make educated. I eat black grapes every day, five times a day. I drink camel water. I, <laughs> I know more about nutrition than you think. I actually do. You do know a solid amount about nutrition. It's true. I, I, I concede that. And it's not a competition. Anyways, you eat grapes, you eat grapes, and then you start getting I'm hungry. I'm pulling my cheek open so they can just stay open. You uh, you shit after you eat grapes. Even sometimes just the water, just enough water. You squirt. Like, no, no. Solid, nice, healthy, okay. healthy. Water, whatever it may be. <coughs> and then after the grapes, you get your first meal in. Taco Casa. It depends. The hotels have been doing like the hotel sausage. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the continental breakfast. True. Gosh, get mobbed by fans. It's horrible. And you get me. Yeah, you fight off a few fans. You uh, text me. A few. It's horrible. You say, good morning. And you send a, a happy face. I am. I, I'm a morning person. You're jovial. I'm. You're a, jovial I'm really morning. a morning person. I'm very. I love mornings. I just feel positive. I'm like today's a new day. I'm still living. You know, mm -hmm. good outlook. Then you go back to your bed. You pull on it. More water. You get another meal in. You fucking call up Orlin. You bitch at him. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it depends what's happening in her life, but yes, I I like to blame everything on him. And then you Google Nick Avocado Avocado and just scroll manically to see what's been made about me. To today. see what's been made about you. Yep, on every single uh, <laughs> major platform: TikTok, Instagram, not really, Twitter, no, actually YouTube. Don't. No, I actually don't. I used to back in the day, but it's just so much now, and it's just the same old stuff. Like, like I'm looking at something right now. Yeah. It's the cake being thrown in my face, or what? It's just a lot of repetitive Anyways. memes of me. So, but. Yeah. It is quite repetitive, yeah. And then, uh, and then, yeah, maybe you film a mukbang, something like that. You get some food in you, yes. And then you, and then your night winds down, whatever. Maybe we film something. You come over to my house, hang out a little bit. We go to Chili's every <sighs> now and I'm then. If I'm invited, you didn't invite me yesterday. Did we go to Chili's yesterday? You did, and I was uninvited, and I had to find out on your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's yep. so funny. It's like a dagger in my heart. Like I'm not even invited. I didn't even think about it. You didn't even think about me, you bitch. No, I didn't think about inviting you to Chile. <gasps> I thought about you, of course. I don't say I don't think about people as if like I'm going to. I'm literally over here starving. I know. Like I don't invite just everyone that I know and love to Chili's every night. I'm not everyone. I'm one person. It's I'm Nicocado Avocado. I'm in you your are. crib. I'm in your place. How do you not think of me? <sighs> True. Yeah. Fair. You want to go to. Bleep this out. You want to go to later? Yes. <laughs> uh, I want to go to. Uh, All right. Um. <clears throat> yeah. And then and then you go back. Home yeah. Bleep that days out, over. Tara. D your day's over. You you uh yank it again. I assume. I really don't know. And then uh maybe call Orlin to apologize. I I, I am a very guilty person. Yeah. I'm someone that snaps, and immediately I feel bad. Well, not usually immediately. I, like I'll calm down, and within an hour, I'm like, oh shit, I just said that about somebody. So that's well, that's why me and Orlin's relationship's uh, turbulent because I will say shit in the heat yeah. of the moment, and then I'm like, oh, no, poor, you know, whatever. So I did that. I need to apologize pretty quickly. Yeah. That's good. I'll never ever go to bed mad. Never. Okay. I really I was about try, to I really try not yeah. to. You don't seem like the type that would. No. That's good. Me neither. Usually. No. Usually, I don't like to do that. And it's happened before, and it's crushed me mm. with him or. Well, honestly, just with him. I don't really fight with anyone, but it has crushed me like, oh, shit, we went to bed angry. Yeah, I don't. I, I never did that, really. I never did that. When I started doing that, no more girlfriend. Mm. So. All right. You ready for another question? Yeah. I'm sitting here right. getting sad thinking about the time they went to bed angry or he went. He was angry. It was horrible. Well, at least you all moved past it. Kind of. <sighs> all right. So there's two questions. One's for both of you, and then one is just for Nick. Uh, do you think Nick can actually get in shape, and has he started yet? No and no. My opinion, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So you can easily— We're going it, to Chili's tonight. We don't even want you to—I don't even want you to just, like—I don't want you to lose weight. I, don't want, I just want you to have a goal and be able to hit it, right? I want you to have a big fat I do have one, 500 pounds. 500 pounds? Yeah, that's my goal. I have a goal. I can't help you reach that. I have a goal. I want this I want this podcast to be the next big thing. Yeah. I want to eat. Well, we don't I don't want you to die. I'm a very though. simple person, you know? So so as an example though of if I think you can get in shape, I feel like you definitely could get in shape. I feel like you could get in shape. That would require first of all, it would take forever. But I also I don't want you to get in shape unless People. you unless you do want to get in shape. I'm not gonna like be like, all right, you need to get in shape. Time to get in shape. I'm not your mom. What if I became really, really, really fluffy? Oh, I will feed you. I know all the good stuff. I know it's good at every place. <laughs> well, I still need to learn how to eat, though. I don't eat really that much. He's a horrible. You can be my feeder. I don't like being fed. I just feel full I'm and not I feel fed. so uncomfortable. I don't like that word. Like, oh, you're, no, I, no one ever feeds me. Like, Orlin will bring me the food and I'll put it in my own mouth. And then you fucking... Sometimes I'll be like, this is not what I ordered. Did you not read the receipt? Six McDoubles. Six McDoubles, my big hairy gut. <sighs> what size feet do you have, Nick? At the current moment, it depends on the brand. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm, I haven't even answered. At the current moment, what does that even mean? Your feet grow? <laughs> they swell throughout the day. And if I'm gaining a little LBs, they, they, they go too. They splay out. My feet used to be 11 and a half. Now I'm wearing a 13. How long, if you stood outside, how long would it take you to erode through the soil like two feet? Not long, I feel like, a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me oh, out of here. Maybe a good rain. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, My feet are big. 12. I do have big feet. Uh, I'd say, yeah, 12 on, but here's the thing. 
I wear size 12, but I'm also very wide. I'm mm-hmm. very thick. Okay. Girthy. I'm very girthy. So it has <laughs> to be a 12. That's why I wear Crocs because they're all they're already so wide. But only because they're made in um, where is this? India? No, this is Mexico. I try to get new Crocs. I got them from Amazon. One came from Vietnam, too tight. One came from I don't Brazil, too tight. One in Indonesia, too tight. The Mexicans, they know how to do it thick. The Mexican Crocs. Thanks, guys. The tortas Crocs. Gracias, papi. It's like you're wearing one bag, one big fat torta. Tortas. Yeah. You like a tortas? Um. Yeah, I, I like tortas. And what size? Right. Oh, well, they, they didn't ask about you. I don't care. Twelve. They don't. They don't care. They, they said Nick. I don't. I have narrow. I don't see. Feet. Oops. Na- Do you remember how big your cowboy boots were? Fifteen. Oh god! Because we couldn't yeah. get them old feet in there. <laughs> <laughs> they fit in there. That was a it was, struggle. Oh god! And it's not. It's it's because I have a high arch, not the arch that's on the bottom of your foot, but the top of the foot. I don't know how to refer to this part. That's an arch. But they recall, they call this part. The, I have flat feet, people. So my arch is actually very flat. But the well, top the arch, your arch. My top arch, even ever since I was a kid, it's been very, very thick. And your really medial thick. metatarsal is the technical term. I don't know. I just say it's because I'm Russian. We got big, thick, strong feet. Thick, strong feet. In big cabbage, strong bitch. Feet. <sighs> cabbage so bitch. I'm big and thick. Cabbage Here's your answer. All right, next. All right. Big and thick. Um, have you guys become good friends outside of YouTube? And what is Nick's favorite fruit? This Both you guys, what's your favorite fruit? Uh, pineapple. Ew. Then second kiwi. I'm like polar opposite. I hate Third it. strawberry. Ew, those are all my least favorite fruits. Strawberries? I love strawberries. Ew. Good strawberries, though. Even a good straw. Ew. But blueberries are really good, though, as well. Like, if I had to Somebody choose Somebody give this man a good piece of fruit, would you? I had to choose from... I never didn't live in fucking Columbia, all right, Mr. Fruit Expert, mm. Mr. Fruit Gatekeeper. Go to Florida. Go to Miami. Fuck Florida. Miami. You can I don't like the old people. best mangoes in the world. Mangoes. I, see, I don't like mangoes. You've, I like dehydrated mangoes. You've never had a good mango. That I guarantee. I have had a good mango. Wait, what variety? Uh, I don't know the specific varieties, but I've had like fresh mangoes that were grown. How's it? I, I how's it fresh if it's in Texas? It wasn't in Texas. Oh, where? Virginia. They don't grow mangoes in Virginia. There's still like quality fruit markets in Virginia. There's culture up there. There's not stuff here. Well. <laughs> Not looking good for the friendship outside of YouTube based on that answer. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I like pineapple. What about your? What's Hate your favorite? Pineapple. My favorite. Gosh, I, I like durian. I like jackfruit. I like soursop. I really like mangoes though, and I also like. I love black sapote. Oh, it's so good. Um, and also, I really, really, really like longons. Have you heard longons? Mm-hmm. They're so good. I, um, well, another one. Uh, persimmons. I, Ew. You like persimmons? Like when they're actually ripe. Ew, do you eat them when they're unripe? I have eaten them at every variety. A stage. Like every stage. When you yeah. eat a persimmon when it's supposed to be eaten, it should be really gooey. And yeah, right, right, right. Just like I do not like super them. Super sugary. We had a bunch of persimmon trees on my property in Virginia. That's a black sapote. Uh, I, don't know if I do not like those either. You've never had one of those. I have had one of those. You had a black sapote? Yes. In Virginia. Yeah. What the heck are people doing up there? I ordered like fruit from, I had like a fruit box. They have greenhouses there. Yeah, they also have greenhouses. Yeah, it's a temperate what? climate. There, there's like wine, like uh, it's known for the wineries. Oh, I do like mame sapote. That's that orange one. Type in M A M E Y. Mame, mame, mame. That tastes like pumpkin pudding. Hmm. It's mm-hmm. so good. What my favorite fruit though? Uh, blackberries picked like fresh blackberries off of off a bush. Those are hard to beat. But f- bought from a store, p- pineapple. Yeah, just because it's consistent. That's the worst. Durian, yeah. People know that about me. I have durian mukbangs like durian. on YouTube. They're nasty. I actually do love avocados. Okay, I named myself one, you know. Yeah. That's durian. I'm very, I get very ill because it's high in sulfur. I'm, I'm allergic, well, sensitive. Are we friends outside of YouTube? I know we're avoiding this question. <laughs> um, I didn't invite you to Chili's last night. Yeah, so I guess not. I'll take you to Chili's tonight. <laughs> You're always saying that because I called you out in front of all these people. No. Yeah, you are. Nuh-uh. You would not have invited me out tonight. I would. I invited you the other night. 
I invited myself. I said, what are you doing for dinner? We're like, we're at Chili's. We're already at the bar. I'm like, oh, can I come? And you're like, yeah. We literally had nah. just sat down. I was not invited. You usually yes. invite people before you arrive. Not when we all leave from the same spot. I had a big meltdown in my room. Did you fart? No. Prove it. Melted brown. Melt brown. I broke some shit. That's what you I You had did. a huge melt brown. So the answer is no, people. I guess, and I see all the comments. Oh, they're frenemies. Oh, I, I'm not looking to carbon copy anyone. This is just a really weird dynamic where this person bullied me for years and I ended up here because I'm a desperate whatever. <laughs> what was theirs? Why, why did she do that whole thing? I, I never watched frenemies. I, I, I saw watched the clips uh, maybe of her freaking episode. out. Huh? I maybe watched an episode. I don't remember really any lore of it. Why did they start? I don't know. Probably money. Pro, pro, I assume. Yeah. At least we're open. Well, whatever. I don't want this to turn into that because they were over within a couple of months. It lasted like seven months. Mm -hmm. I hope this is longer than seven months. I assume it will be. You think so? I think so. Why? Um, because I have, I'm very patient. It won't, be, it won't be me that ends it. It'll be you. Ugh. That's why. If I think it'll last seven, longer than seven months because I'm basing that <sighs> off of my own experience and knowledge. Of working with me. No, no, just of what I can deal with and what I'm willing to do. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's so, up to you. Do you think I'll quit? No. You don't think I'll quit? No, I think it'll be longer than seven months. Okay. At least we beat frenemies. Okay, people. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be long, prosperous, and it'll end up everyone happy. You and me at most happy, especially sitting on the big mountains of cash. Yes, it better be. <laughs> like uh, fucking, uh, what's that duck? Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> wink, 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 wink. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to say that the viewers, the peasants, they want the ending of this podcast to be me skinny. There's two choices, though. There's skinny. three. Okay, what, so skinny. What's the second one? Bigger. Okay. Or dead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we should we should change it's the name of the podcast. Triple. What what would you call it? Uh skinny fat or <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well shit, I shouldn't go to Chili's tonight. Day one. No, I'm joking. I'm really hungry. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go to Chili's. I'm fucking hungry. Oh that triple dipper, bud. Triple That'll dipper, be so bud. funny if we change this to but skinny, fat, or dead. <laughs> fat or dead would be. Can a good everyone name too. leave in the comments? Actually, what's your opinion on Defire? Is it unique? Is it different? I, we think it's very catchy. It's short. It's sweet. It's cool. Yeah, we're still trying to like. Everyone's iron like, out. this should be the Nikocado Upaville because they're people are searching Nikocado podcast. They're not searching Defire. They're searching Upaville pod. Of course, podcast, yeah. Which is going to happen at first anyway. Of course. But in time, I'm hoping that this is something that's we're we're not just we're creating something new together. You know, this is mm -hmm. like a new child. We should call it Frenemies 2. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I would love to do that. They already said we could use the name. Did they? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. Well, they said they have. we have our, like a Frenemies type thing on that's our That's very different than saying steal my name, bitch. I mean, they didn't invent the word Frenemies. Just like we didn't invent the word Dumpster Fire. There's plenty of other Dumpster we, Fire podcasts. Well, they, oh, I, didn't, I didn't know there was other Frenemies. Yeah, there's multiple Frenemies podcasts. Well, shit. This is Frenemies 2. Goodbye. I told you that too anyways. In the very beginning. There's like, when you Google Frenemies, the first one that pops up isn't even theirs. Oh my God, if we call it Frenemies 2, they're going to they're gonna be not happy. I don't think we should do that. They're not going to be happy. It'd be funny. And I don't really, I don't see the need. Because I'm we're not trying my, to. I think we should do Frenemies and I'm going to change my channel to H4H4. Oh my God. And you can change yours to... H69. Nisha. Avish. Avash. Nisha Avnas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching episode three. Uh, the ass is still numb, people. My butt's still numb. Of the Dumpster Fire Fat podcast. Phobic chairs. Um, press the like button. Follow both of us on Twitter and our channels. Um, yeah. Yeah. Smash, smash the like or whatever. Woo! Yeah! Bye! Hopefully I come back for the next episode.